Hi guys, update from the Trifier. Every year in summer, for the last two years, we review a Aldi truffle product. Aldi highlights truffle products in their specials aisles on, in summer, and we like to have a look at them. Last year, we looked at their truffles in brine. This year, we're looking at their truffle pate. This one is produced by Sabatino. It's actually a big company in Italy and it's endorsed by none other than Oprah. So go out and have a look. Okay, trigger warning. I'm not going to endorse using this. If you are interested in experiencing the complexity of flavor that comes from fresh truffles. So if you sell these kind of products, trigger warning, you're not going to like what I say. I would suggest that you don't listen to the rest of the time. If you use these products in the kitchen, then you should know about them. If you use these products as a chef, then I want you to listen, please. Okay, the product itself. Look, it's got uh, different types of mushrooms. It's got porcini mushrooms in there. It's got champignon mushrooms. It's got tuba estivum, and it's got a whole heap of other herbs. It's also got a thing called aroma. Now, aroma's in there, truffle aroma, because to use any kind of truffle in this kind of product that's on the shelf, that's got to stay on the shelf, you've got to pasteurize it. There are a whole heap of different microbes within the truffle and on the truffle skin that you need to kill before you can put it in anything like this. Botulism is one of them. If botulism takes hold in something like this, you're basically dead. So you don't want to have to deal with that. You purge it, you pasteurize it, Pasteurizing any kind of truffle eliminates, purges any of the flavors as well. So you don't have any flavor in that in the end when you pasteurize it. To introduce flavor, the signature flavor of these kind of products known euphemistically as aroma is formaldehyde product. It's a derivative of formaldehyde. I've got it here, that's the chemical name and it's just a single strand of what we taste when we taste truffle. It's not complex, it's just one filament of it. It's highly evocative, <laughs> just like good truffle are. So it gives you a kick. All the endorphins when you smell this are there. It will give you that response. It's engaging, and when you put it on your plate, in your risotto, in your pastas, on your meat, it's lovely, but it's a chemical. As a truffle farmer who sells fresh truffles, as a psychologist who understands the experiences that we put down in our memories and refer to when we go and want to experience that experience again, I would suggest to you that you don't use this product or any products like it. In and of themselves, this product is excellent. Sabatino has a lot of uh, food technicians. This product hits the mark on every single one of them, right? It is very, very, very good as it's, as, as it's a, a product of, his, of its genre. I'm going to give you an example why you don't want to use it. Something like the color blue is established through our experience of it. It's got Nothing to do that it's actually a light wave. We're using our senses, in this case our eyes, to experience the color, and our parents and our culture tells us what that is. You know, blue has certain significance in our culture. In some cultures, they don't even have a word for blue. My point is that your experience of things establishes your ongoing understanding and expectation of the thing that you're doing. In this case, if you're experiencing this, then this, whether you know it or not, because it, it's evocative and it's enjoyable, you can't stop your brain referring to it when it has another truffle experience. A lot of the cookbooks that are out there and the, the writing that goes to taste and olfactory, Make the mistake of talking and focusing on 
the chemical reactions that happen in your mouth when you put food in it, and the olfactory sensation, they say that 80% of it is olfactory. Well, you know what, it's not. This is something that is actually misguided. It's your brain that's interpreting the environment and it expects a certain thing. In our case, when you think of the color blue, you've got a particular emotional experience. Somalias, when they train to be able to grade, sense, experience wine, go through years and years of training to connect what they're tasting, because you know what, you don't know what you're tasting until it has some kind of understanding between what you're tasting and, and actually what it actually means. There's a great experiment that my teacher did when we were at school. He didn't have a piece of food. He had a chemical which was used in certain tasting experiments. So we, could, we didn't have the uh, sensation of the product in our... We just had the flavour of it. All around the table, one by one, we put it in our mouth and we could not tell what it was. We knew that it was familiar to us. I, could, I, could, I knew I had tasted this before, but I couldn't pull it out of my brain until he said, it's pineapple. And all of a sudden, I could taste pineapple. That's your brain looking for cues as to what this flavor is. It's deriving it from its memory. It's deriving it from its experience. There were no cues coming from anything other than what I was smelling in my mouth and smelling in, and, uh, sorry, sensing in my mouth and smelling. I couldn't tell what it was because I didn't have the other cues. I didn't see it. I, didn't, I couldn't taste it. I couldn't feel the, 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 the coolness of the pineapple, the way the strands break up. None of that was there. You should try it. Guys, that's it for me. Look, the summary is, this is a good product for what it is. Using it is actually a formaldehyde experience rather than a fresh truffle experience. It doesn't have the complexity of flavor, the enjoyment that you will derive of exploring the 300 and more compounds that are in every truffle as you use it. You can only get one flavor from this. So that's one point. The other point is it primes your taste. This is what you'll be looking for if you use this in the kitchen. You'll probably use this more than you'll experience your truffles because in a truffle season, I experience lots and lots and lots. I've exposed myself to this, but when Frank goes and finds you know, these truffles of this season, I will recalibrate my brain. At best, you may have one, two, three, more maybe experiences, but you will always refer back to this. Guys, I know it's depressing. I'm sorry I can't be any more positive than that. But anyway, look, there you go. Look, take care and we'll see you soon. Cheers for now.